situations last year, I can tell you now, the Lord Jesus is taking it away from you. It is gone in Jesus' name. If there were some battles that you were fighting in the name of Jesus, they are now gone in Jesus' name. Situations that were so terrible, financial situations, maybe some of us have been wondering how will I pay fees for my kids. I can tell you a miracle will take place. The God that we serve is a miracle working God. Lift up your faith to him and believe him. Trust him. Just put your faith in him. He's a God who does exceedingly abundantly beyond what we can ever think or even imagine. And I believe as I pray this prayer, the Lord will reach out to you wherever you may be and the Lord will touch you. The Lord will heal you. The Lord will deliver you. The Lord will minister to you. The Lord will touch you in the area of your need and the area of your concern. My Father and my God, I stand on this altar as a minister that you've given and you've appointed to stand on this altar continually to pray for your people. And here they are, they've come to this house where your name is mentioned. Because they believed that by being here tonight, the blessings of God will be upon them. They believed by crossing over the year in this house tonight, the Lord would be with them. And here we are, Father, we have crossed. And we do not want to take the baggage that we were carrying last year into this year 2024. I know we have praised you. We have prayed. We have done all what we could have done to thank you for the new year. But I stand here to affirm that from today, whatever it is that you are carrying last year is gone in the name of Jesus. I stand here as your servant to speak life in your people, to speak blessing in your people, to speak healing in your people, to command every devil and every spirit of darkness that has been trying to hinder them to stand in their way. There are people here, Lord, who've never had jobs. Some of them have been struggling over years. They've come to seasons of this nature again and again, and they've never seen any progress. Tonight, I command jobs to come in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is not employed, may you receive your job now in the name of Jesus. No more pain in that area. No more struggle in that area. Lord, your will is that your children may have food on their table. They may have clothing to put on. They may have a house where they can live. Tonight, I pray, let none of these men lack a job where they can be able to work and earn a salary, to be able to take care of their children and their children, and also take care of the things which they must take care of. I pray today, jobs come in the name of Jesus. From the east and the west, from the south and the north, may people begin to remember you. May people call you tomorrow call you the day after tomorrow and invite you for interviews because Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ cares for you. Those things which stood in your way of your jobs, I refuse them now. If there were curses that were spoken, if there were words which were spoken, if it was lack of qualifications, Father, may you bring favor. Favor, my Father. Because the favor of God supersedes any qualifications. The favor of God supersedes every kind of curses. In the name of Jesus, Receive your job. Receive your job. Receive your job. Receive your job. Receive your job in the name of Jesus. Lord, there are some who have been working without promotions. I pray this year will be a year of multiple promotions. Not just a promotion, multiple. They will do hop, step, and jump because of the delay that has been there. Father, may you give them favor where they are working. That dear Lord God, this year their bosses will consider them. Lord Jesus, they will think about them and they will provide opportunities for these men and these women to be promoted. We pray for them, Father. We bless them and we say, receive your promotion in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May the favor of God rest upon you as you receive that which is yours in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for those that have been under different types of attacks. Some have been sick in their bodies. Sick body, I command you be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed in Jesus' name. You sick body, be healed. Stomachache, be healed. Arthritis, be healed. Cancer, be healed. Pains in the back, be healed. Pains in the legs, be healed. High blood pressure, I command you out in Jesus' name. Any kind of complications, in the name of Jesus. Ulcers, I command you out in Jesus' name. I pray for headaches that have been there. Stress, my father. High blood pressure. I command you out of them in the name of Jesus. Lord, from today, your children are healed. They are going to walk in the victory of the Lord. Healed by the power of God. Walking in the Lord's blessing. Because the Lord has blessed them. Thank you, Father. Lord, there could be some among us who are, who are actually struggling financially. They don't even know where the feast is going to come from. They are borrowed and borrowed. 
Tonight, I refuse the spirit of borrowing. I pray to your Lord God, you will begin to prosper them like the word of God has spoken. They will pay all their debts and they'll get on a, tra a trajectory of, of being blessed. They will begin to see favor coming their way. Money will begin to flow in their lives because the will of God is that we may be healthy. We may prosper in our health, in our souls, and also in everything that you've given to us. I pray, Father, meet their financial needs in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let fees be paid. Let rent be paid. Father, let those transport be paid. Let the things, the basic needs be paid. In the name of Jesus. I bless them, Lord. 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 May you work a miracle in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, there are some of us here who in one or another, they had some words spoken. Some of us here, Lord, believe they were cursed. Some of us, some of us, some of, the, of, of us here, Father, believe that something was in their lineage. I break any spirit of lineage. I break every power of curses. I break them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Devil, you have no power. Devil, you have no authority. Devil, you have no place. I pray let your people be set free in Jesus' name. Today, anyone that thought he was bound by any spirit of witchcraft, I command that spirit to go in the name of Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. No more witchcraft. No more powers of the enemy. You are leaving this place where you are completely set free by the power of God, by the spirit of the living God. I bless them, Father. I bless them, Father. There are some who have been widowed here. Father, be their, be their husbands. Lord, be their wives for those who are widowers here. Some of, some of us have gone through difficult situations. Orphans who are here today. Father, help those orphans, my father. Lord, some of us who have been here, Father, going through difficult moments because nobody seems to care about us. 2024 will be a year where our favor will flow in our places of work, in our homes, in our companies, in the places where we are serving you. Small businesses will begin to spring out. Father, businesses will begin to multiply. Things will begin to happen that have never happened. Because the Lord is in control. And miracles are taking place. We are declaring the year 2024. A year of signs and wonders. A year of miracles in our lives. A year whereby the Lord shall be God. The Lord over everything that we are doing in our lives. I bless your people. I bless your people. I bless your people. I bless your people. Lord, I'm asking you, they will come to give testimonies. They will come on this altar and testify of what God has done for them. Because you're not a God who needs to be bribed. You're not a God who needs anything from us. You are a God who does it because you love us. And we believe you love us. Therefore, we say thank you. Lift up your hands and give him praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You have done it. You have done it. Lord, to the glory and honor of your name. And therefore, I ask you, 2024, beginning now, is a blessed year. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Amen. And may the Lord give you peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And with a smile on your face, give him praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as I hand over back to our sister, our, our resident pastor, it gives me great joy, church, especially members of DCI, to give you a declaration, I mean, I'll tell you what this year will be. We are calling for conquest. The Lord Jesus bless you. The Lord Jesus keep you. Today is Monday or Sunday. Aha, I wanted to know whether you are with me. Today is when? Sunday. This week from two service. Our church here is known as a community church and our reputation is good. Come and be a blessing as we shall be a blessing to you. Have you enjoyed the Kesha? Yeah. Can I ask our resident pastor to come and lead us? Tell us what next after this. God bless you, baby.
Yeah.